what's up guys, ViperFPV here, and today I wanted to show you guys the TS100 soldering iron. And um, going in here in the box, I already took it out, but I just kind of wanted to show you what it comes with. It does come with a tip, and it comes with the actual iron, this part right here. I did buy an extra tip, just so I have some diversity in my tips that I can use. Um, it will come in with the instruction manual also. So, um, it's kind of looking here at it. Um, it is a portable soldering iron. It does accept 12 to 24 volts, uh, so you can use a 3S battery to a 6S battery. Um, if you do use a 6S battery, make sure it's discharged down below 24 volts. Um, I cannot be responsible for anything you may do or it might blow out since it is stated to be 24 volts. Um, so moving here on to the actual iron. Um, comfort wise, it's okay. I mean, it's not like it's formed really like a, you know, like the ones, like the more expensive soldering irons where it's kind of narrow on the tip so it, you can hold it really nice. But it is, you know, it's okay, especially if you're out in the field and this is what this is aimed for. Uh, it's aimed for to be able to do um, on the field repairs. Um, and like I said, you can use any type of battery, a 3S to a uh, almost a 6S battery. Um, and what you'll need does not come with it. Um, you'll need a connector. Let me go ahead and take this out of the battery. And uh, you'll need one of these. So this is an additional expense to the actual iron. As you see, it has an XT60 to a barrel connector. And um, let me go ahead and plug this in. So I just want to go over the menus. So we got the uh, got it all plugged in here, and so this button right here, this will turn it on. And uh, let me go ahead and turn it on real quick. Just wanted to show you how fast this thing heats up. As you see, it's it's heating up pretty fast. Within about I don't know 15 seconds or so, you pretty much have it fully um, the temperature full. And I believe it's set at 300 degrees Celsius. Yep. And you'll see here, it just makes a nice smoke. Nice and hot. So I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. You just hit both buttons right here. And I'll put it down in the, into the mode there. And then this button right here, closest to the um, power supply, is where you get the options. So this is the incoming voltage, and this is the temperature of the tip. And that's just the factory reset. This is the working temperature. This is pretty much what you would set it, uh, what you want to set your iron to. Um, and then this is the um, standby temperature. So um, this thing does have, um, it's a smart soldering iron. So if you go ahead and set it down, it does have a built-in gyro with a CPU in it. Um, it will go ahead and go into standby mode. And uh, that will be the temperature that it goes into, and then once you pick it up, it'll start getting back to the temperature that you set it for. And then this is the sleep timer. Pretty much this is what it will do. Um, this is how long it will take for it to go into that mode. And then this is the um, idle time. Uh, this is, I believe, is if you set it down and you leave it unattended for so many uh, minutes or seconds, it will just shut off uh, so that it saves your lipo, it saves the tip on the soldering iron, and um, you don't burn your house down. Um, let me go ahead and get into, let's see what else we got. I think we have a couple more menus here. This is the off voltage. Uh, this is, um, I think you can set it to whatever so you don't ruin your battery if you're not paying attention. Uh, this is the temperature. You can either use Celsius or Fahrenheit. Um, and this is to um, flip the screen. If you're left-handed, you would want to look at the screen and be able to read it. Um, I'm right-handed, so I'll leave it that way. And then we get back to the where we were in the beginning. Um, just want to do give you another update as well on this. Um, I mean, it's a fantastic soldering iron, and um, I can't wait to use it out in the field. Um, but keep in mind the new soldering irons that are coming out. Uh, I believe Get I got this one from Get PV. Um, you cannot load the custom uh, Rylene firmware on them right now. Apparently, there is an issue uh, with they changed something inside. Uh, that it will lock it up. So you will go ahead and load it in, because I actually was going to include this on the video, um, but seeing it in the GitHub that people um, are having issues loading this up. Um, pretty much what happens is you 
go ahead and put it in there and then all of a sudden after about two or three seconds it just locks up and you have to unplug it replug it and so it's unusable at that point so they are actually uh, i think Rylan is actually working on a fix for this and he's still researching it so until then i will just uh, go ahead and just use the original firmware that comes on it and uh, maybe i'll update the channel on how to go ahead and flash that firmware once it does uh, actually have a working version for these newer units that are coming out um, i did buy this uh, about a month ago so um, I'd say uh, if you've bought this thing in the last month or so um, keep an eye out if you do flash that firmware you want to try it um, you can there is a link in there you can just go ahead and put the original firmware back on it and so you don't break your unit and you can still use your soldering iron um, if you have any questions for me leave it down in the comments um, if you have any suggestions you want me to do on a video or a question you need answered leave it down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have or maybe even do a video about it um, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, in a few days with another video, and I uh, see you guys later. Peace.